Well, between Scott County and McCrary County, Kentucky, there are a dozen missing people. There could be even more, but that's how many are reported in the National Missing Persons Database. Tonight, we bring you one of those missing person stories and how the search effort has been in the hands of one family. Reporter, reporter rather, Caitlin Keenahan spoke with his loved ones who say they just want to find his body. We never went three days without talking to each other. From three days to four years. In the beginning, I had hope. On May 19th, 2018, William Cross disappeared from McCreary County, Kentucky, just north of Scott County. Everybody loved him, but when he got on drugs, you know, his personality changed. He was released from jail a few days prior for possession of drugs. We tried halfway houses. We tried everything but through it all his mom and sister stuck by his side when he stopped answering their messages they knew something was wrong but we waited the 48 hours because he went missing that friday night into saturday yeah so we reported him monday, we, morning. monday morning there was one official missing person search according to scott county but it took 10 weeks for the sheriff's office to put william on namus the nation's official missing person dashboard why would they care he was nothing to them, but to me, he was my baby. He was my child that I gave birth to. This family has conducted dozens of their own searches and to this day, they're still looking. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. It is virtually impossible, especially now, four years. If I find him, what will I find of him? But it doesn't change the fact that this mother and sister need the closure that comes with a proper burial. In Scott County, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. If you have any information that could lead to the location of William Cross, please report it to the Scott County Sheriff's Office or East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers.